is a fluidity to performing on the harmonic table note mapping that isn't just inspiring, it is incredibly freeing. At first glance, it might seem nonsensical, and I get it. It's a pretty big departure from the way a traditional keyboard lays out notes. But look closer and patterns do start to emerge. Now, if a more traditional piano note layout is what you're looking for, Lumitone's got you covered with the classic piano-like layout. But if you're after something that's gonna shake up your playing style and make you look at music theory from a different angle without having to overthink music theory, then give this mapping a tickle. First off though, for everyone who's never seen this mapping before, I will just quickly go over how these notes are laid out. All right, here we've got the harmonic table, which we also refer to as harmonic mode. So these blue patterns here are the natural notes, starting at the bottom with F, with the exception of the yellows being the D, and the orange are our sharps. The exception of green being G sharp. We have fifths running up this axis, major thirds up this axis, minor thirds up this axis, semitones going through this axis, and every third note up the major third axis will be our octaves. Okay, with that out of the way, let's look at some patterns. We'll start with the most obvious one here with this nice, lovely blue chunk of notes. Played all together, we get a major sharp 11 chord. Now the pattern there can be seen as this shape, which stays the same as we ascend up octaves. So arpeggiating through these notes is as simple as sticking to that pattern, basically just the blue notes. Now, if we wanna play another sharp 11 chord, we simply take that shape and we move it anywhere else on the board, say down one step on the semitone axis, where the E will now be the root note. And this would be the pattern for an E major sharp 11. Now the F major sharp 11 was easier to spot, we just stick to the blue keys. But just take a sec to stare at this new pattern. And like a magic guy, it starts to reveal itself all across the Lumitone. If you want to think strictly in the form of color, just make a mental note that the root is beside the green key, and at the top of the pattern we'll have these three orange keys. And now your eye will start to pick up that pattern wherever you look. And once you register that up in your dome, you can just pick a spot where that pattern sits on the board and practice running through them. And once you're comfortable, you can try to combine these two patterns we looked at. All right, let's say we wanna add a minor chord in there. The pattern will be a different shape, but the idea is the same. Let's build it starting on the C sharp here. And there's the pattern or chord shape for a minor 11. But you don't have to stop there, go a major third up from your 11 to find your 13 chord. Just let that pattern soak in and see where it pops out across the board. And then toss it into your progression. Now this does absolutely simplify music theory and let your intuition take the forefront when you're writing and performing. But Lumitone doesn't dumb anything down. While you may not need the theory, it is all right there staring you in the face. And the visual representation of how these notes work together it starts to sink in. If you're not someone who knows a lot about music theory, you'll find that it almost starts teaching you without you even realizing you're being taught. For example, let's just take a look at two of those patterns that we were working with. We had the E major sharp 11 pattern we also had the C sharp minor 13 pattern. Take a look at those two patterns and you'll see that the C sharp minor 13 chord is really just an E major sharp 11 chord with the C sharp sitting on the bottom as the root. It's little things like this that start to pop out at you with any given mapping on the Lumitone. And if you're someone who doesn't care at all about music theory, you still have the option to just think in colored patterns and let that fully be your guide. Lumitone can be a super powerful teaching tool but it can also just be an instrument that liberates your brain from overthinking and just lets you play, and in ways that you may not have been able to before. But I will end it there. 
Thanks for spending some time with me today. It's been a pleasure.